Welcome back to the Math is Simple YouTube channel. And today we are going to be solving one-step equations. And when we're solving the one-step equations, we look at it and we notice that it is the division property of equality. Now, when we have this first problem, it's 9x equals 30, 360. So when I see my 9 and x together, anytime I see a coefficient next to a variable, it really means that we are multiplying those two values. Whatever that x value is, we're going to multiply it by 9. Now, because we want to eliminate that 9, we are going to use the division property of equality. So the inverse of multiplication is division. So let's go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by 9. When we divide both sides of the equation by 9, you notice that 9 over 9 would give us 1, and then we'd have 1x by itself. Now this 1 or the coefficient of 1 in front of the x, sometimes your teachers will allow you to keep it, and as you get older and more proficient in mathematics, you're going to find yourself getting rid of that 1 because it's just, it's just a place it placeholder and it's just showing us that it is just 1x. So therefore let's go ahead and get rid of it for today's example but we're going to keep our equal signs in line with each other and now we have 360 divided by 9. Now the bottom number remember the denominator always goes on the outside and then the numerator goes on the inside of the division symbol. So 9 can go into 3 zero times, and so 9 goes into 36 four times. So 4 times 9 is 36. We're going to subtract it and give us 0. 9 goes into 0. Can't forget it. We're going to bring that 0 down. 9 goes into 0 zero times. Therefore, 360 divided by 9 would give us 40 and 40 would be our answer. Let's go ahead and give ourselves another shot at this. This seems pretty easy for students when it's just the one step, so let's try another one. 5p equals 75. So we look at, we know the operation between the coefficient and the variable is multiplication, so the inverse of multiplication is division. So we're gonna divide both sides by the coefficient, which is 5. So now we have our 5 divided by 5 gives us 1p, and so we will put that p, keep our equal signs in line just for organizational sake, and then we will have 75 divided by 5. Now let's go ahead and bring this over. Remember, the denominator is on the outside, the numerator stays on the inside. And so 5 goes into 7 one time. 1 times 5 is 5. I'm going to go ahead and subtract. So 7 minus 5 is 2. We're going to bring this second 5 all the way down. 5 goes into 25 five times. So P, so when we, P would be 15. 75 divided by 5 would be 15. Therefore, P equals 15 will be our answer. So just remember when you're solving one-step equations, you're going to look and see what type of property of equality that you have, whether it's the division property of equality in this example. And I have three other YouTube videos out there that will talk about the multiplication property of equality, the addition and subtraction properties of equality as well. And so go ahead and check out the other videos in our YouTube channel, and hopefully you guys have a happy day doing math.